Hi, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you're watching Mainframe DB2 Practicals. So today in this video, I would like to show you how do we create a DB2 table on Mainframe subsystem that is DB2. So this is the one we are, I'm going to show you how do we create a table. Let's create and set that the sample table like a uh, employee having fields like employee ID name, sal and department and at the same time we will see we will have a primary key created using a create, uh, create unique index. Let's go and connect to the mainframe system and see how do we create it. Okay, I'm connected to this. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to QMF. Okay, so once connected to QMF I need to write a query to this is the SQL query panel where we will be writing our query okay if uh, have if you haven't watched the QMF basic so this is uh, I have a uh, one video where you can watch the QMF introduction on how do we lock connect to the QMF and how do we write a query so let's go ahead and create a one table so let's start with create table um, I'm giving my table name as EMP table and I'm selecting EMP ID as a field and data type is character and its length is 6 bytes and it's not null then I'm going to create another field called as employee name and whose data type is character let's take as 20 bytes and it is also it should also be not null then we have uh, employee date of birth or employee salary I'm taking it as in the data date sorry uh, it should be as uh, numeric okay numeric 8 comma 2 okay then I can take employee department okay mm, it should be like of 6 and not no okay so now we have to define a primary key for the skip comma here and we have a primary key our primary key is employee id in so before this i need to close it and in database name followed by table space name okay then in order to run the query just press f2 you can see here f2 see employee table uh, in the name existing table see it's already existing so just take it as okay I'm taking another table see okay running your uh, query change the database it means that the data table has been created okay if you want to comment this you can to have two hyphens over here okay it will comment the query part so now the table has been created so how do you check it just write a query like select star from emp underscore table one Let's press f2 see the emp table primary index so i cannot right i cannot uh, retrieve the uh, table why because i'm mentioning it as a primary key so now i need to create a index so before i can see the fields of a created table so how do we create a unique index so now I'm going to create a unique index so since there is a primary key defined so you need to have a unique index defined so create unique index okay index name will give it as ix1 okay on emp underscore table 1 for which field employee id okay then run the query okay okay running change the database so now I'm going to comment this and run this query see you can see employee ID, employee name employee salary and the department has been has the fields for the employee table so in this way you can create a table okay so once again if you want to uh, come back to the query panel just type uh, just press F6 function key on the keyboard so that you will come back to this okay so this, in this way we can create a table now in my next video I would be coming up with the different videos like how to be insert a data, delete, retrieve or various all the DLDML commands okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasurable day and an evening